Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a chair workout to strengthen and stretch kind of the whole body, but really the upper part of the body. In our life and day and age, a lot of us have a forward moving head from typing or on our computer or sitting a lot at our desk or watching TV. And we can have a lot of rounding in the upper body and not a lot of strength. So we're doing some mobility, some opening, strengthening, and stretching. Let's start with hands at the heart. Sit up nice and tall, crown of the head, reaching toward the sky. Shoulders relaxed, down the back, belly pulls in. Let's take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's do one more, breathe in and breathe out. So we're gonna start with some joint mobility. So just go ahead and rotate the wrists in one direction for a few times and take it to the other direction. So the whole time while we're doing these, definitely wanna feel like the crown of the head is reaching up tall and the belly is gently pulling in. So let's start with the elbows, which is gentle rotation one way, then the other way. Now bringing your hands to your shoulders Big shoulders, so the shoulders are going up, down, back, and then forward, up, down, back. So we'll do four in each direction, really slow, feeling all four of those points. One more in this direction, and then stick. Now we're going to go back, up, forward, down, yeah. So getting full range of motion here. Let's do two more. The last one and shake it out. Now we're gonna stretch out through the hands and fingers. So if you have corporal tunnel syndrome, just be really careful with these stretches, maybe not quite going as deep as you normally would. So go ahead and bring one hand forward, grab your pinky, pull it back. So we're just gonna hold here for a few moments. Now the ring finger. Soft bend through the elbow so we do not hyperextend. Now the middle finger. The whole pur purpose of this workout and exercise is to create space and mobility, pointer finger throughout the body, so that we can continue to do the things that we love with ease and very little discomfort. Now the thumbs, you kind of pull it down and back. Now you want to grab a hold of the fingers, palm is still facing me, pull the fingers back. So this is really where you want to be careful if you have some wrist issues or sensitivity. Now flip the palm down so the back of the hand is facing me, and then just gently pull it towards your body. So for me, I really feel this in my forearm, which is great. I want that stretch there. Then release, go ahead and shake out the arm. Now we'll go to the other side. So extend the hand, really splay the fingers, soft bend through the elbow, go ahead and pull the pinky back. Just for a few moments here, really feel that stretch and breathe into the sensations that you might be feeling. Now the ring finger. So if you feel any burning, pinching, Definitely back out a little bit, middle finger, but if you feel stretching and just a little bit of soreness, then maybe you stay with it for a moment and just breathe. Now the pointer finger, know that you are safe. Here, everything is supported. Now the thumb, and then release that. So again, the palm is facing me, pull the fingers back. Again, be very gentle. Maybe you don't go very far to where you feel the stretch. Now flip the palm so the back of the hand is facing me, the palm is facing the body. Pull the hand towards your body. I love the stretch, it feels so good. Then release that and shake it out. So now the ribs are gonna be creating some mobility. So it's not quite like a cat cow where you're really uh, flexing and extending. It's very subtle. So we're just gonna root down through the hips and just take the ribs side to side. So your core is engaged. And I love doing this exercise seated because you really feel the grounding of the hips and you can feel the movement of the ribs in space. Now come back to centerness. So here, so we go forward and back just a little. So we'll get into the full cat cow in just a moment. Right now we're just working with the ribs. So go back and then take big circles. So you are really want you to feel the front, left, back, and right of this. Creating a lot of space for the lungs, 
for the heart and for the back body. Now take it to the other direction. So your shoulders are still away from the ears and down the back while we're doing this and then come back to center. So now hands on the knees, inhale, open through the heart, get that really big cat arch, exhale, chin to chest, round it up. So I'll turn to the side just so you can see, inhale, open up, shoulders down the back. If it's okay for your neck, maybe you look up, chin to chest, really push that back toward the back of the chair. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale, come sit up and shake it out. Just a gentle twist, so place your left hand to the outside of your right knee right arm to the back of the chair. As you inhale, sit up really tall, find that length, and then exhale, just twist. So do not gaze behind the right shoulder, just gaze to the right. Navel pulls to spine. On every inhale, think of lengthening tall. Every exhale, pull the belly in. Maybe you twist a little deeper, starting from the low back. And inhale, come back through center. So we'll try it on the other side. Inhale, find that length. Exhale, right hand to the outside of that left leg. Left hand to the back of the chair. Just gazing to the left. Inhale, sit up really tall. Exhale, pull the belly in. Maybe you feel yourself rotate just a little bit. Shoulders again, away from the ears and down the back. On your next inhale, come back through center. So we're going to pick up one leg, clasp your hands, really support your leg here and just rotate your ankle in one direction, still sitting up really tall, core is still engaged. Then rotate to the other side. Now we're going to flex and point the foot, get lots of mobility, maybe wiggle the toes. Now I'm gonna move this one leg out to the side a little bit. We're just circling here a little bit. Now this feels really good in my knee. If it does not feel good to your knee, maybe you just go back to those ankle circles. Reverse that rotation. And creating mobility in the lower body and shake it out so pick up the other leg clasp the hands behind ankle rotation here might hear some crackles and pops reverse that rotation totally fine just air in the joints and flex and point the foot maybe wiggle the toes a little bit and if you need to take that leg out little circles here for the knee and then reverse that again this doesn't feel good for the knee, just come back to those ankle circles. Shake the leg and release. So we're gonna come to sitting really far at the edge of our chair and we're just gonna gently flop side to side. So be mindful of the back of the chair. I don't want you to hurt yourself, but it's kind of like a twist, like a rag doll, just flopping side to side. So you really need your core to be engaged here. Just relax. Maybe you kind of take your arms up and over a little bit, making this movement bigger. Mm, this feels really good. So let's do one more to each side. And release. Now we're going to do some back body activation and strengthening. So we're going to reach the arms up. Inhale. And as you exhale, pull the shoulder blades down. Then the elbows come down. So it's like a lat pull down. We'll do 10 here. Inhale. Exhale. Belly pulls in. You should really feel the back body light up here. Shoulders relax. So what I want you to feel in this is that your back is getting stronger, your shoulders are getting stronger, but your neck is creating, there's more space being created for your neck. So maybe you feel, up, feel like you're sitting up a little bit taller, that your neck is longer. Let's do one more. Now bring your arms in front, your shoulders might be a little bit tired. Palms face up, inhale, as you exhale, just rotate over. Inhale. Exhale, so 10 here as well. Sitting up tall, elbows are glued. So now we're working still with the shoulders and the back body, but we're being a little bit more gentle. So let's do three more. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna keep this motion, but take your elbows back a little bit. So you're really squeezing your shoulder blades and we're gonna kind of press the elbows. So I'll turn this way. So what you're doing is you're pressing the elbows toward the back of the body. So you're really going to feel it in your upper body, your trapezius, maybe even your lats. So do 10 here. Breathe in. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then shake that out. Release. Awesome. So we usually do this in our sun salutation. I want you to hinge forward and then just bring the arms beside the body. Maybe you even hold on to the back of the chair for more support. But what I want you to do is place your hands here back. You should feel the, all the muscles of the back really light up here to help support your torso in the space. Gaze down so that your neck is really long. So whether you're holding here on the back of the chair or your arms are released, you're still engaging. Core is in. So if your hands are on the back of the chair, just stay there. If your hands release, let's press up for 10. Not into the arm, you're just pressing it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So I notice a little bit of a left leaning side because that is my tight side. So maybe you notice that. Tate said, do this exercise in front of a mirror and just notice where you have imbalances. Maybe you're leaning too much to one side. Maybe you're right there in the middle and you're great. So just notice where you have those imbalances. So let's come up, let's bring the chin to chest, round it out, stretch it out just for a moment. And then sit up. So let's bring our hands to the heart. Closing the eyes, let's bring our right ear toward our right shoulder, just gently stretching here. Inhale, come back through center, exhale, left ear, left shoulder, still shoulders away. Inhale, come back through center, chin to chest, spine is still long, just stretching out the back of the neck. Inhale, come back through center. The light in me sees the light in each of you. Namaste. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're getting stronger in your yoga practice each week. Like this video and subscribe for weekly yoga videos and comment down below on videos that you would like to see in the future. And if you're looking to deepen your practice, you need help with nutrition coaching or even strength and conditioning, check out my website at michellehensonharris.com. The link will be down below for all of my coaching packages. And if you're also looking for exclusive content sent to your inbox each week, such as blog posts, recipes, Keys, breakdown of certain yoga postures, then subscribe to my email list at the website as well, michellehensonharris.com. Again, thank you so much and namaste.